work is really um, all the interior finish work. We know them today as a finished carpenter. So the person who does the trim work in the house, uh, makes the doors or the windows, uh, that's the specialty of this particular uh, craftsman. Um, so it's still a kind of carpentry, but it's a more refined version thereof. Um, in addition, uh, additionally, there's, there's cabinetry. So it's building furniture, chairs, boxes, uh, which is again an, another separate form of the overarching uh, uh, definition of carpentry. Thank you. Are there any other questions? That pretty much concludes my talk. Yes, sir. <coughs> What relation was John Hendricks to Saladin? Was a, was a brother or half brother of Saladin? Brother, they're brother and sister. Half, half, half brother, half, excuse me, yeah, yes, half, half brother and sister, yes. Yes. When they design everything, do they have a blueprint? Do they <coughs> go on paper and get a figure out measurement and then go from the blueprint? Uh, do you mean for the restoration? Or um, for the restoration and for back done? Sure. Uh, well, Thomas Jefferson himself, he, uh, he was a, an amateur architect, um, and uh, he designed all of this. And, and so he laid out the measurements and the angles and what he wanted and where he wanted things to be. Uh, and then he would hand it off to his master carpenter, for example. And the master carpenter's job would be to take that from paper and create it in a physical space and make it a real three-dimensional object, yes? Thank you. So at least, as far as carpentry went, uh, Hibbins had to be able to read. He did. Which was he, illegal. He, he <laughs> could read and, and write, and there's, yeah. and there's much surviving correspondence between John Hemmings and Thomas Jefferson. Yes? He would also have to know mathematics? Certainly. What do you know about the dining room table? I know this was a replica, but the original one is super solid. Let me defer that question to Vince. Vince? Uh, the dining table? Uh, the, I'm not sure if that was made in the joint or not. It Isn't was that? It was ordered. Jefferson ordered furniture from Richmond. He also ordered furniture from Washington, D.C. And we don't know where he ordered this piece from, but we know. But it's last thing I heard is that it was ordered. Okay. So it must be a three-part table where it's an elongated octagon, just like this room is, the way it's set up now, where you can take the two ends and put them together and make an octagon. Or, um, you know, you can use the three pieces separately. So we, that table was, um, the original table was handed down through the Hunter family, and it was in three different, parts of the Hunter family, but we acquired all three parts back in the and the original table that was here at that time. Um, because of our HVAC system, we don't have the climate control for the original furnishings, and so that's why we have the reproduction table, the reproduction chairs, and we, people can use the house more like Jefferson, you know, used it instead of staying behind the rope. Are those wooden screws in the... These? Yeah. These um, window jams are um, put together with mortise and tenon, like in the arm of the chair, so the square hole. And then these are, they peg them together. These are wooden pegs that pin the two pieces together. This piece actually runs all the way through and to this edge. Um, you can see some on that door, on the edge of that door where the dark is. Yeah. And so they run up through and then they pin them with these wooden pegs. Is there anything inside the hole that pegs there? No, I... no, it was just drilled all the way through, so it's, well, it's, it's just it just attaches those two pieces. The peg actually holds this piece and this piece together with the joint. Thank you. Any other questions? About the table, uh, I seem to remember reading in the literature about these Pembroke tables that were made of a size to fit with the dining room table. Did I read that somewhere? Do you remember how that worked out here? I know that at Monticello they put lots of different tables together depending on how many people 
were dining there, which fits into what CJ was saying about furniture that was made to be moved around and used in different places. So it's very possible that you know they all did have a certain width so that they could be used together or used separately. I think what I read was where he was asking about a specific width on this to fit with the table in the dining room. Yeah, I sent out the Pembroke's, I sent a report on the Pembroke table that uh, Bob Self, the conservator of Monchella, did. Um, I don't have it in my head right now, but I can get, get you that report. That looks smaller than the, not as wide as the dining room table, though, doesn't it? I don't know. Yeah, well, like that yeah but the, with the leaves open. With the leaves open. The leaves open. Can you open one of the leaves, open. Open yeah. more the leaves yeah. so I can see how it's supported? Oh, there is. Okay. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, and it, it folds it, right into the apron. It, it does. It does. It's got a uh, what's called a knuckle joint here, and it, and it swings out and supports it. Yeah. So we swing out like this. That's cool. Yeah, we have a carpenter with tape measure. What's that? Do we have a carpenter with tape measure? Just to measure the tape measure. Just to measure. We got it here in the house. Oh. Now, what I do know about this particular table, um, uh, as I understand it, that uh, <clears throat> over over the years, and it's common with furniture, um, especially over a 200 plus year period, uh, it gets adapted. It gets cut down and, and, and changed, and furniture gets gets broken, especially uh, Pembroke tables. Uh, so uh, this one may not uh, be its original size. Uh, this one may not be its 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 original size. So there, there is that also, um, but uh, but Bob Self would be the, the expert on that. Yeah. All right. Well, if there are any more questions, I appreciate y'all for coming. <laughs>